Jasmine's Watching Hairspray. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jazz, and um, today I'm going to be doing a DIY clothes video, as you can probably tell by the title. So this is going to be a really quick intro. Um, I just want to say, if you guys want me to make another video like this, then comment down some below some things you'd like to see me recreate. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't already, and comment a video request if you have one, or something you want me to make, or anything. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's get on into it. You will need a marker, a nail file, tweezers, scissors, paintbrushes, and fabric paint. Start by trying on your jeans and marking off where you want your shorts to end. You can do this standing up or you can lay the jeans down on the table and put your favourite pair of shorts over it and mark it like that. Then you can start cutting your shorts but make sure that you allow space if you stuff up because you do not want to end up with booty shorts. Then just try your shorts on and mine were uneven so I went back in and cut them again and this part is just trial and error until you get them how you like them. Once you have your desired length you can start distressing them so you can use your scissors and drag them along the edge. You can pull out threads with your tweezers, you can use your nail file to rough the edges up and you can cut slits in the shorts and when you wash these later this will help the distressed look. And then I just bleached my shorts because I didn't really like the colour and I'm not going to really explain how I did this because to be honest I had no idea what I was doing. But after I bleached them I put them in the wash and dried them. This is what they looked like after the bleaching process and so now you can begin painting. So basically I was just recreating this design I saw on Google and as you can see I put my own sort of twist on it and it looks hard but it's really not that hard. All you need is some fine tip paint brushes and some basic skills like drawing lines and it took me about two hours to complete them but it's totally worth it. For the Starbucks shirt, I just found a picture of the Starbucks cups and printed it on iron transfer paper and ironed it on. Then on only the first layer of the shirt, I cut up the middle and then two triangles on either side of that and then cut it into a crop top. Then I just tied my two triangles together and then to get a clean look, tied off the ends of those and snipped off the excess. And there you go. If your scissors aren't sharp enough to cut fabric, simply cut through some alpha and this will sharpen them. It's so cool. Start by folding your shirt over and cutting off the sleeves. And make sure you cut down a little bit if you want the holes to be a bit bigger. Then stretch those raw edges out and cut off your collar. At least that's what people say. Then this bit is optional, but I folded my shirt over and cut it into a crop top. And then I printed off, cut out, and ironed on my Chanel logo and then peeled it off. Then I folded my shirt inside out and hemmed the edges with fabric glue, and you're done. You got that jeans. Okay, so this shirt is definitely the easiest, so start by cutting it into a crop top, so folding it over and, you know, just cutting it. <laughs> then hem the edges, but make it noticeable so it has this really cute effect type of thing. I don't really know how to describe it, um, but it just looks like this and it looks really adorable. And then I ironed on my little transfer paper and this one says hello I'm a mermaid and I made this one for my friend and I think she's gonna love it. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to come back next week for a new video. Okay, so I'll see you guys next week. Oh, next week and bye.